once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you have not already, please click that button there and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and as you can see here, just finished, we're gonna make some really beautiful, easy cheese and jalapeno sambusas or samosas. They're really a lovely little snack. I'm serving mine with a little bit of sweet chili. Let's go and do it. Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, we're going to be making some really easy cheese and jalapeno sambusas or samosas. Lovely, lovely little fried snack. So what we've got here is we've got some sheets that we've bought from the store. Quite frankly, buying from the store, you get hundreds for nothing. They're really cheap and you get loads of them. Really super convenient. Cheese of your choice. I mean, I'm using a bit of cheddar here, but you could be using any, anything you want. And I've just got some jalapenos here, like a kind of pickled red jalapeno. All we're going to do is pop some of this in a wrapper with a jalapeno. I'm going to put a bit of black pepper on it. We're going to fold them. We're going to show you obviously how to fold them. We're going to just fry them in some oil. They're done. So as you can see, we're just popping in a little bit of our cheese at one end and the jalapeno. Like I say, very, very easy these ones. Once you get the technique of folding them Sort it out, they're delicious. You can make loads of different types of stuff with this. Okay, so you can see, top left, we've just got a little bit of flour and water mixed. We're gonna use that as a glue. So we're now gonna just show you how to fold. So you fold over one corner there. Another fold into that corner a fold over on itself, one more fold over, we're now going to add some of our flour water glue and a final fold and then any little excess just fold it around and you've got yourself a lovely little folded sealed samosa or sambusa. Okay, and just one more time. Add a touch of the glue. With the final fold and any small little excess, just wrap it around there and give it a little squeeze. And just from another angle so you can get it. One fold there. One over there. One back on itself. One forward touch of the water flour glue and over you go okay we're now gonna finish the rest of them then we're gonna get over to the cooker okay so here we are I've got about two three centimeters of a sunflower oil in there you can be using any oil you want quite frankly there's our little samosas and what I like to do is just before I put them in give them an extra little squeeze here let's just check that oil that's good. So in they go. Now we don't want the oil raging, raging hot. You want it with that kind of gentle bubble like that. And we're going to cook these literally for like three minutes, minute and a half aside, to get the desired effect. Also, don't overcrowd your pan. So I'll probably do these in a couple of batches. So minute and a half or so, I'm going to flip them over. They're going to be delicious. Really gooey cheese inside. See, as you can see, I'm just flipping these over now. I'm going to go for a nice light colour. I mean, cook them, you know, as dark as you want. That's up to you. I'm going to go nice and light on these ones. Another minute and a half, 90 seconds or so. We're going to get them out. We're going to put them onto some kitchen towel or paper. And they're done. Okay, there you go. Done. Really, really quite easy absolutely delicious we're gonna have some lovely kind of melted cheese in there with that jalapeno I'm serving this with a little bit of sweet chili sauce I like a little dip of that in there so easy please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we will see you very soon lots of love
Wow. Gooey, gooey cheese. See you later.